2008 STI hits the bargain bin, the Scion XB gets rebadged as a Subaru, and I'll tell you why Ken Block may or may not be my biggest man crush right now. What's up, noobs? I'm Euro Jacks, and this is your money shot. After he stunned us with the Impreza flying over snowboard jumps video, Ken Block is back with a video called Ken Block Gym Con, a practice. The video shows Ken Block flying through an empty airbase in a specially prepared STI and doing it so well that internet forum members question whether or not Ken might actually be some sort of mythical Greek god sent from Mount Olympus to haul ass. Deity or not, this guy sure can drive. The best part of the video is this. We can only imagine what was going through the video producers' minds when they decided on this shot. You know what this Ken Block video needs more of? A guy on a Segway. If we can get a guy on a Segway, I think it'll just tighten the whole video up. That Segway right there earned Ken Block Prawn's Man Crush of the Month. A pink badge in a bargain bin? I said badge, right? A couple of episodes ago, we talked about the 2009 WRX and noted its acceleration performance was considerably close to that of the current model STI, but costs about 10 grand less. So what makes the STI that much better? It's got a trick gearbox and lots of other little performance items, but when it comes down to it, the new WRX really looks like a much better value than its bigger brother, who, as it turns out, isn't so much bigger anymore. So Subaru is making the 08 STI a very attractive buy. Most dealerships offer discounts and financing on the flagship hatchbacks, which seems to indicate for the first time since it came stateside, the STI just isn't selling. It might be for any number of reasons, but with the new pricing and financing options, an 08 STI has suddenly become a much more appealing buy. Subaru is obviously taking big steps these days, and we think the 08 STI was just an intermediate step towards something bigger. Whatever rolls out of the factory wearing the pink badge next is sure to be impressive. What happens when a Subaru and a Scion produce a love child? Find out after this. This money shot is brought to you by CSS Performance. Wait, CSS Performance? Really? Didn't they screw a bunch of people over? Hang on a second. What does it say here? It says, tell them we f***ed up, we fixed it, we're sorry, seriously, our bad. Love CSS Performance. Subaru announced a new car this week called the Subaru Dex. The rebadged Scion XB comes with a 1.3 liter inline four, four speed automatic, and starts at around 15K. As of now, the Econobox is only sold in Japan. The car is starting to scare a few enthusiasts who see this as a possible beginning of more rebadged Toyotas in the future. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Another not in America Subaru won Japan's most fun car of the year award. The Subaru Exigia beat out the Fiat 500, the Nissan GTR, and a string of cars we've never even heard of before. And finally tonight, the word bailout is still being thrown around, except instead of banks, they've been talking about the automakers. GM recently announced it would be selling its stake in Suzuki and Ford would be scaling back its piece of Mazda's business from one third to 13%. It seems that the only automakers facing any amount of real trouble right now are the so-called big three, General Motors, Chrysler, and Ford. Foreign manufacturers don't seem to be any worse for wear. So what does this mean for Subaru enthusiasts? From the looks of it, not much. GM sold its share in Subaru to Japanese auto giant Toyota in 2005. And the hotly rumored Toyota Subaru Rear Drive Love Child Coupe looks poised to give the Corvette, Camaro, and Mustang a run for their money. Wait, they don't have any money. That's it for this episode. I'm Eurojax, and go check out November 18th's Fast Lane Daily and look for our promo. Peace out.